Hey everyone, today I have her. I don't have a little tiger on my neck because well, she's in her cage active. I want to bug her. Trust me, she was trying to bite my finger. Only me, not my mother. I don't know why. Anyways, I want to talk about why are teachers come in to the students or stuff like that. What I mean is, if you go on uh, Twitter, there's this uh, Twitter called Lips of TikTok. Um, and yes, they do have TikTok too, also. I don't know why. I don't care. But what it does, it literally exposes the uh, TikTok of like people who are really stupid. <clears throat> like I saw this post, I think yesterday, saying, this is this is this is this new gender bathroom opened this year at a middle school. This is it going to end well? And it was this picture. I swear. Yeah, it's an equality. What the fuck? <laughs> and this is the principal, of course. It says Black Lives Matter shirt. Dude, oh my god. You're putting something in the coat. Okay, this one's funny, okay? Listen, I'll give, I'll give it a listen I'm just to just gonna it. assume it or my very anxiety of the day today is that we're going to have to deal with coming out to my students. I know most of them are just going to assume it already, but for the few that don't, that'll be a fun conversation. If it comes to that. Yeah, but... Like... Okay, I'll just say this. I don't care if people hate me for it. Why the fuck are you coming out to your students? Like, for real. You're in school. From kindergarten to high school. Maybe university when you come out of school, but I don't know if I want to come out of school. I'm going to come to 12th grade. Why the fuck are you coming out to your students? I get it during high school because you're much older. I get that for a lot, a, a lot of these reasons, but still, in middle school, that is not right. Don't get me wrong; I don't care about what you are. If you're my friend though, and you tell me that you're gay, congrats, congrats for you. But everyone else, I don't care. Well, people call me so much for I don't care about that shit. Who does? But what I mean is some. Um, but what I mean is this. Students don't care if you're gay. At all. They don't care if you're trans. They don't care. Teach what you need to teach. In high school. Or in any school. Or any class. This is one of the. This is this is the uh, parent talking about it. Saying do not. Do not. Don't, stop indoctrinating your kids. Prove our history. And some of, why is it inappropriate for people to dress in business attire? I've done it for every one of my jobs. I don't like it at times. It takes time to put on a suit, you know, as you all know, and a tie and get dressed. There's times you don't do it, but there's times things are appropriate because school is to prepare kids for the future. And we're preparing kids to learn about ba the basic math, English, science, history. Speaking of which, we need to improve our history, as some of us all know. You know, let's start working on that. But let's let's stop indoctrinating children and this teacher what really made up my mind was when i went through their social media and i saw that they said we're weaponizing the rainbow i'm dressing this way because i can't come out so yeah okay i'll i'll, I'll show you the pictures in the there one of the uh, videos about tiktok um basically he's right that yeah the history need to be updated somewhat um, because it kind of lacking even when even when I was in high school, it wasn't lacking like some information, but that's me in general. And I can see some issues with some history records fucking up them because some history records are not generalized and sometimes it's not easy to understand it. So I kind of get that part myself, but you know that's high school. But <laughs> that's me, I guess, right? <clears throat> but what I'm saying is true. Do, like, kids in school, they're there to learn about the math, the science, and so on and so forth, right? That's fine. That need to be taught anyways, because you're in school, what the fuck? And do not touch any of the children. Yes, you should not do that in general. Teachers like this should be fired. They should not be near any kids. You know why? Because they're disgusting. They want to make kids 
say, oh, I'm gay, I'm trans. I'm like, what the fuck, you ain't gay, you're like, you're like fucking 12. Here in Georgia, you wouldn't be transgender, or, or, or you wouldn't get that stuff done, you could be 18. I don't know how it is for every state, it varies from state to state. But here in Georgia, it's like that. Specifically. It, and I'm like, that's from the sandbox, at least. But fuck me, I guess, because do you think people are just sensitive? I'll, I'll play the video. So I want a conversation started with these children. There's a plan in place. I have nothing against that. I have nothing against people doing what they want to do in their own lives. That is between them and wh whatever they got going on. What I care about is when people indoctrinate the children, because that is up to the parents and the parents alone. Thank you. And what he's saying is true. That per month, that the teacher needs how um, that that per month, the teacher needs to keep this uh, gay shit, trans shit out of their classrooms. I'm not being mean about it. What I'm saying is that um, the teacher needs to stop saying, "Oh, kids, call me um mixed blank um or something like that," right? And this is the teacher to be actually talking about. Yeah, she had me to feel. And here's a video from her. So, I'm not allowed to be out as trans non-binary at school. Do not come up in my comments saying that I am allowed because I'm not. I live in Louisiana and it sucks here. So of course, my response to this is to be as obnoxiously queer as possible. So, I've got my rainbow hair with leopard print. I've got my rainbow glasses. Sometimes I wear pens, too, with various rainbow things on them. I don't have any today. I just have my COVID sticker. I wear things that do not match at all. Basically, my goal is to look like a unicorn threw me up. If I can't do that, what's the point? Yeah, what's the point? The point is, uh, you don't need to be teaching kids at all. You're, you're, you're trying to force your lifestyle on these kids who are trying to learn history, math, science. Uh, depends on what kind of class you're in. Spanish, uh, and France. I know that's for me in high school. But, yeah. I have an issue with these teachers. They want to force their own lifestyles on these kids, like I said, that they don't care about. Then I saw this tree, yo. The teacher tree in, uh... In in schools, um, uh, practicing uh, uh, begging students to uh, begging students to speak to them about their gender and stuff, and about their and and by their whole personality. Then there was another video yesterday, and like it came on like a day ago, where it says uh, a New Jersey substitute teacher was arrested. And charged this week, uh, after after he was masturbating in front of his cut in front of his students. God damn it! I did not read the entire thing. Like the fuck. Fourth grade, kind of fourth grade guy coming out trans. Somewhere in between. And it's coming out as trans. That means it's a teacher that's kind of not a guy and not a girl, like somewhere in between. Yeah, like, teachers, like, doesn't have an issue with because these things, like, coming out to your students as a trans, motherfucker, you don't give the rat's ass. Kids coming out as trans. <clears throat> so the top caption, is says, uh, 
Kids, I uh, I'm trained to this is a represent matter. I wish uh, I I I wish I had a educator because because this is what you feel in common but not rare means as a queer queer questioning um trans kid in a small town like this. So what? No one cares. The t the kids are the goddamn curious right now because you said it but they don't even give a rat's ass do you think they'd be like oh she was scared no they don't they don't care about you all they care about is learning about the fucking science i know that was me back in like middle school and high school like i don't care about like history and like math <laughs> I know. I never cared that much about other classes. <laughs> Literature, fuck me, I guess. But that is how I thought about it. <laughs> like, bruh. Oh my god. Yeah, and this was on a thing for a school? So it says... Please specify your gender identity. God, why the fuck is this common? Ace, agender, transgender, non-binary, gender fluid, gender queer, not listed, perhaps not to say. Cisgender males and gender women. And on the bottom, it says, um, do you, uh, do you, do you, fucking hell, do you identify as LGBTQIAP? Plus, yes, no, prefer not to say. This is for a job. Bruh. <laughs> I don't want, I, I, I want to get a job, so I am not going to answer this, clearly. Trans girl, and they're both correct. Let's just clear this up because I keep getting this comment. I think a lot of you are newer to my corner of the internet and don't know that I'm a gender fluid person. So you might have seen a video where I talk about being non-binary versus a video where I talk about being a trans girl, and they're both correct. This is the best way I can break it down. I am a gender fluid person, meaning that I feel a fluidity between multiple genders, and some more some days than others. Some are situational, some are interdependent on the people that I'm with. So my like core. Well, my dick on back of my body refers to a horrible. And it hurts. This person's not a teacher, so what the fuck do I say? Like, there's so much on here. Well, oh god. The gay bill passes through the Florida house. Ah, uh, coming out with a. Gay murdered dies. Oh my god, dude. Back on matter, dude. Showing up to teach fourth grade the day after the don't say gay bill passes through the Florida house. I talked about the bill before, like I said. It's not about being gay. It's literally meant to protect kids from people like this because they're, because they're so damn disgusting. Just because you feel like you want to come out as a to your students after after the building Florida came out, no, you should not you should not be allowed to show you you're you're not allowed to indoctrinate kids into your cult to, to feel like you're not alone. You're alone in this because no one loved you as a kid. I'm not being mean about this, but I don't care. Who cares about these people? You're a teacher, you're a grown up. Get, grow some balls, uh, put them in your ass. If you got a sausage, put it in your ass. No one cares. Like this. If you, if, you, if you didn't like what you were before, then why the fuck are you teaching kids saying, oh, I'm gender fluid? No, no one cares about you. They want to care. They care about your first name. And, well, and that's how I thought it. Sometimes my, my, sometimes my teacher would call. Sometimes my teacher would allow us to call them by their first names. <laughs> that was in our high school, though. I'm like, dude, come on. I mean, I like that shit. I didn't, I didn't mind that all, really. But what I mean is this. Like, bro, who cares? Like, the people who care about these people are people on the far left. And they're screaming, no, we don't care about you. T uh, students are here to learn about fucking science. They don't care about what you are. Like, bruh. 
that'd be it for right now. I'll be I'll make a TikTok because I have a TikTok account. Hey. <laughs> a little drop in. But anyway, so that'd be it for today and uh, yeah, I'm doing one for today. I don't feel like doing a Reddit video. I know I said I'll do it every Friday, but Trust me, y'all, it's a pain in the ass for me. And also, I'm putting too much stuff to my own body. Making video by video by video. I made three videos, like, like two days ago. And I'm, like, tired, and I did not make a video today, uh, yesterday. Trust me, y'all, I just don't want to push myself. I want to do it daily, like I said, but hell, that's fine with me. If you can understand what I'm saying, then, then, then you can agree with me with that, right? Hell, I don't know, y'all. So, yeah. Fuck off.